Good evening again. I just finished up my uh, uh, the call to prayer message, and now it's intercession. And and I, I don't want to waste time oftentimes in that messaging, so right now I'll do it. Remember, smash the like button, subscribe, become a part of the mission. We want you here. I want you here. You have a role to play in God's kingdom, and I want you. I want you to be a part of God's kingdom here at Living Stones and San Lantanga. Yeah, you have a role to play. You have something to do. God has meant you for greater things than what you have done, and he wants you to be a part. So like, subscribe, become a part. Um, send out the jot form if you need special prayer requests. Make sure at the website, there's a couple of you that did that this last week. Bang, right in. And it comes right to us, and we got it right here. I'm so happy. I'm so happy to have you. I'm so happy to have God's purpose for my life. Sometimes it's busy. Sometimes it's crazy. I hate having to deal with all the finances in a church. I hate having to deal with all the difficulties in a church, all the stuff that has to be fixed. Oh my goodness, in this district, I have never had churches, buildings that needed so much fixing as this place, but you, as Living Stones and then San Lantanga. But you know what? Oh my goodness, God is good because he's given our hearts a reason de et, a reason to be, and you are that reason to be. For all these buildings are only here for one reason, to capture you and have you be a part of the story of Jesus in this world. And as others begin to know about him through you in this church or in San Lantanga, we develop stars in our crowns so that we may throw them at the feet of Jesus. He's given us so much and we can give ourselves to him and we can reach others. Cherry on top, we get to have new family. There are many in this world that do not have family or proper family. Family members they don't like or family members that don't love them, used and abused in this world. But God gives us an opportunity to have a real family here, not based on lineage or blood, but based on faith that translates our blood into his blood. And then we have true family based on our purpose or our resume de et. That's why the church exists. Sorry, I'm preaching again. Pastor John, stop preaching. All right, number one, Josh and Adriana and Jaden, we love you. I have you in the prayer requests here for God's love and leading. Love you guys. And um, anyway, just wanted to let you know that, okay? Um, then I, oh, this is a big one, Pastor Ben. Pastor Ben, my good friend, we ask for God's protection and strength. God's protection and strength through the madness of this world. I know God has a powerful purpose for you always. Another pastor friend of mine, Pastor James and the Doc family. Um, uh, my spell check, my spell check fixed Vandy's name and turned it into Candy. Pastor James, we love you, man. I know Vandy passed away and I, 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 we, we send our love and our prayers for you. And uh, we're gonna see her. She's such a sweetheart. I know there at Temple City when she was there, she was such a, a blessing to the women's ministry team there. And she did so many things for God there. And uh, with flowers too. I remember she, she made some beautiful flower arrangements all the time at church. And uh, her heart was there. And so James and, uh, I mean, your whole family, we, we pray for you, uh, Jeanette and, uh, and uh, your, your sons, I'm forgetting their names, forgive me, but uh, we love you guys, okay? Um, comfort and strength we ask for. Also, we pray for the Padilla family, the Padilla family who lost Reuben. Um, we love you. We love you very much. I texted Reuben's phone. I wasn't able to be there on Sabbath. There's just too many things happening on this last Sabbath. And uh, I, w I wanted to be able to go to that memorial over there. Uh, but um, anyway, we love you guys. And we send our, our prayers and our hearts. We, I texted Ruben's phone. I don't know if you guys have it on you, but, 
but uh, we sent our love. We love you guys. Um, also, um, uh, Mirta and Ron, we pray for you and God's leading always. Uh, we also pray for Noble. Uh, Noble asks for special prayer, uh, for uh, healing, for another Pastor Ben. Another Pastor Ben. This one uh, has uh, brain cancer. I do not know this Pastor Ben, but uh, we pray for Pastor Ben and, ben and his brain cancer that God uh, heal him or give the treatments uh, that he needs, uh, do whatever needs to be done, but also we pray for stability within the family and strength to be able to go through this. These are not easy times and we love you guys, okay? Even if I don't know him and I don't know uh, uh, of the circumstance, I may, I don't know, but uh, even if I don't know, I ask for special prayer for Ben and uh, for strength for him. Also, um, my dad, special prayer, healing and strength to continue to lead people to Jesus. Healing and strength. Dad go has gone through a lot in the last two months. He's, he's doing good, but we just pray for, I pray for mom and dad. And uh, the thing I love about mom and dad and, and, and dad as a preacher is, man, he, he loves Jesus so much and he loves the word of God so much and he continues to grow. And we pray, I pray for decisions that are coming up and things in his health. Um, love him so much. And uh, he is a uh, incredible um, fighter for God uh, in, the, in the ring of God's grace. Uh, also, uh, Lupe, I'm so glad, Lupe, you're, you're here on Sabbath, health and healing. I'm so glad you were protected in that car crash. I didn't even know you had had one. So Lupe, we love you. Um, Anna and I send our love, and um, I'm so glad to see you on Sabbath, and thank you for helping out with our, with our um, uh, potluck or anything that's needed. I so appreciate that. We, we appreciate that, and we had a wonderful potluck, and thank you so much to Ruli and Nural as you guys were leading out, and, um, and your team had some great food. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> it was delicious, and I look forward to to many more potlucks. I actually got to eat this time, uh, but I had many meetings during that uh, time there, the fellowship time. But um, I'm so glad though that, uh, that Lupe, you were here with us and uh, always share when there's some issue. You know, Armando, I didn't see you on Sabbath, but we pray for strength and healing, strength and healing for you, Armando. Stay strong, man. Uh, we love you so much and you have a family. Please tell your family that you have a family, and they have a family in our churches, okay? Also, uh, Teresa, for work and health and strength. Uh, you're coming up to a graduation. Praise the Lord. God is good. Um, we just, I just want to make sure that you know that uh, we love you and uh, we're behind you 100%. And uh, just stay strong, okay? And, um, and uh, also, we pray for health and strength for Constantino as well. Constantino, man, I know you're going on this mission trip coming up, but we pray for your health as well and strength and all these testings you're going through. And uh, we pray for Inigo, the family of Inigo who passed away early on Sabbath morning, uh, about three in the morning. This 10-year-old boy had gone through so much. We pray for his family. And uh, Yvonne, stars in your crown, girl. Uh, you are so uh, loving. Uh, continue to be so. And um, anyway, just want to remember you in our prayers as well, Yvonne. Also, we pray for joy, uh, healing and strength to go on, joy, and also the business she's in. We pray for the business as well uh, and her, her strength in that. We also pray for Giselle. Giselle for her, we praise God for the benign uh, after the testing, but uh, Giselle, we continue to pray for you and strength and health and, and unity and cancer-free. And we pray for Marcos and we pray for a job for you that, that, that matches your needs now, uh, uh, considering after your uh, being cancer-free. Uh, God is good and we love you. And I'm so glad you guys are going through uh, Bible studies together too. I, I was, I'm, I'm happy. I heard, heard good stories on Sabbath. And so... Um, also, last night, we were uh, Anna and I were at the GAA Spring Concert. It was beautiful. You guys missed something. It was 
beautiful. And uh, we pray for God's leading with the, with the teachers and, and our music teachers that are moving on to a, another school and pray for them. We're going to miss them so much. And uh, we pray for God to lead with the new teachers and new staff, for the children, the young people, and the school in general. Oscar is the principal. To give him wisdom and strength, it's not easy being a principal. It's not easy to lead. And uh, so we pray for each one there. And uh, by the way, we also pray for VBS this summer that's happening at Glendale Adventist Academy, and we're involved in it. I'm so glad we could be involved in a VBS now. And uh, we pray for young people in our church to be able to get more young people in our church. And I know that will happen soon. We continue to pray that God start to generate his purpose in this church. For God has great things for this district whether we know it or not. And uh, also, um, yeah, that's it. Praise the Lord. By the way, it was great seeing you, Emil. We have another Emil in the congregation now, and I'm glad he's here. And uh, we love you, man, and stay strong. And uh, maybe Thomas, share this link with Emil, and uh, we'll start... Uh, Maybe I got to get his phone number into our into our call out list. But uh, anyway, I'm so glad you're here, and uh, God is so good. Now we're gonna pray together, and as we pray, this is a longer one. Sorry, I'll 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 pray short, but in the prayer, I'll make sure that we have a moment of silence for you to be able to insert your prayer requests. Then we pray for unity, and we'll end with, this time we'll, we'll end with the 23rd Psalm because there's quite a few people who, there's been deaths and, and health issues. Let's pray the 23rd Psalm together. If you don't know it, follow me. I give spacing so that you can memorize it with me. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you so much for being with us. We do not deserve the love you have given us, but we thank you for that. We love you so much and thank you, and we promise to give our lives to you because of your love for us. Lord, now there are many here who have prayer requests. I will have a moment of silence. Please give your request to Jesus now. Mm. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes, Lord, you listen. You answer yes, no, or wait. But I'm so happy that we have an ability to wait on you. Help us to have faith that you listen. Make us family. Make us one. Take away the separations and the dividing walls between the differences of ourselves. Allow us to not identify with people that are like ourselves. Help us to identify with others who are not like ourselves. Make us truly one. Take away our prejudices and make us identify with others who are not like ourselves and therefore learn real empathy, understanding someone else. Help us to be family in this way. And now there are many who have died during these last two weeks. Yeah, we'll end with the 23rd Psalm right now. The Lord is our shepherd, I shall not want. Say it with me. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his own name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I do not fear evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me right in front of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil and my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Go out and take on your day. God will walk with you, for he is your leader, your shepherd, your president. 
Not one that makes no sense. Not one that offends everyone, but one who changes the world. Love him like he loved you. May the joy that flows from the cross of Calvary infect and infest your life, give you hope, peace, and a purpose. I'll see you on Sabbath. Bye-bye. Oh, and by the way, as we're ending here, just want to remind you, come to church on Sabbath. Living Stones, if you wish to give, feel free. It's the description box below, you can give to Sunland Danga or Living Stones. Become a part. Like, subscribe. Don't forget, you are important. We need you, and without you, nada happens. Enjoy.